The first description of multiple prism arrays, and multiple prism dispersion, was given by Newton in his book Optics. Prism pair expanders were introduced by Brewster in 1813. A modern mathematical description of the single prism dispersion was given by Born and Wolf in 1959. The generalized multiple prism dispersion theory was introduced by Duarte and Piper in 1982. Topic: <laughs> Generalized multiple prism dispersion equations. The generalized mathematical description of multiple prism dispersion, as a function of the angle of incidence, prism geometry, prism refractive index, and number of prisms, was introduced as a design tool for multiple prism grading laser oscillators by Duarte and Piper, and is given by phi 2 m lambda equals H two M N M Lambda plus K one M K two M minus one H one M N M Lambda plus or minus Phi two M minus one Lambda Display style partial phi underscore two m partial lambda equals h underscore two m partial n underscore m partial lambda plus k underscore one m k underscore two m caret minus one big h underscore one m partial n underscore m partial lambda p m partial phi underscore two m one partial lambda big which can also be written as lambda phi 2 m equals h 2 m lambda n m plus k 1 m k 2 m minus 1 h 1 m lambda n m plus or minus lambda phi 2 m minus 1 Display style nabla underscore lambda phi underscore two m equals h underscore two m nabla underscore lambda n underscore m plus k underscore one m k underscore two m carrot minus one big h underscore one m nabla underscore lambda n underscore m p m nabla underscore lambda phi underscore two m one big Using lambda equals lambda display style nabla underscore lambda equals partial partial lambda. Also k one m equals cos psi one m cos phi 1 m display style k underscore 1 m equals cos psi underscore 1 m cos phi underscore 1 m k 2 
m equals cos phi 2 m cos psi 2 m Display style k underscore two m equals cos phi underscore two m cos psi underscore two m h one m equals tan phi one m n m Display style h underscore one m equals tan phi underscore one m n underscore m h two m equals tan phi two m n m Display style h underscore two m equals tan phi underscore two m n underscore m. Here phi one m display style phi underscore one m is the angle of incidence at the MTH prism and psi one m Display style psi underscore one m. Its corresponding angle of refraction. Similarly, phi two m. Display style phi underscore two m. Is the exit angle and psi two m. Display style psi underscore two m. Its corresponding angle of refraction. The two main equations give the first order dispersion for an array of m prisms at the exit surface of the month prism. The plus sign in the second term in parentheses refers to a positive dispersive configuration, while the minus sign refers to a compensating configuration. The k factors are the corresponding beam expansions, and the h factors are additional geometrical quantities. It can also be seen that the dispersion of the month prism depends on the dispersion of the previous prism M1. These equations can also be used to quantify the angular dispersion in prism arrays, as described in Isaac Newton's book Optics, and as deployed in dispersive instrumentation such as multiple prism spectrometers. A comprehensive review on practical multiple prism beam expanders and multiple prism angular dispersion theory, including explicit and ready-to-apply equations engineering style, is given by Duarte. More recently, the generalized multiple prism dispersion theory has been extended to include positive and negative refraction. Also, higher order phase derivatives have been derived using a Newtonian iterative approach. This extension of the theory enables the evaluation of the north higher derivative via an elegant mathematical framework. Applications include further refinements in the design of prism pulse compressors and nonlinear optics. Topic. Single prism dispersion For a single generalized prism M equals 1, the generalized multiple prism dispersion equation simplifies to phi 2 1 lambda equals S I N Psi two one C O S Phi two one N one Lambda plus 
C O S psi two one C O S phi two one T A N psi one one N one Lambda Display style partial phi underscore two one partial lambda equals sin psi underscore two one cos phi underscore two one partial and underscore one partial lambda plus cos psi underscore two one cos phi underscore two one tan psi underscore one one partial and underscore one partial lambda I F the single prism is a right angled prism with the beam exiting normal to the output face, that is phi 2 m display style phi underscore 2 m equal to 0, this equation reduces to phi 2 1 lambda equals T A N Psi one one N one Lambda Display style partial phi underscore two one partial lambda equals tan psi underscore one one partial N underscore one partial lambda Topic: Intracavity dispersion and laser line width. The first application of this theory was to evaluate the laser line width in multiple prism grating laser oscillators. The total intracavity angular dispersion plays an important role in the line width narrowing of pulsed tunable lasers through the equation delta lambda approximately equals delta theta theta lambda minus 1 display style delta lambda approximately delta theta left partial theta over partial lambda right caret minus 1 where delta theta Display style delta theta is the beam divergence, and the overall intracavity angular dispersion is the quantity in parentheses elevated to minus one. Although originally classical in origin, in 1992 it was shown that this laser cavity line width equation can also be derived from interferometric quantum principles. For the special case of zero dispersion from the multiple prism beam expander, the single pass laser line width is given by delta lambda approximately equals delta theta m theta lambda minus 1 display style delta lambda approximately delta theta left m partial theta over partial lambda right caret minus 1 where m is the beam magnification provided by the beam expander that multiplies the angular dispersion provided by the diffraction grating. In practice, m can be as high as 100 to 200. When the dispersion of the multiple prism expander is not equal to zero, then the single pass line width is given by delta lambda approximately equals Delta theta m theta lambda plus phi 
2 m lambda minus 1 display style delta lambda approximately delta theta left m partial theta over partial lambda plus partial phi underscore 2 m over partial lambda right caret minus 1 where the first differential refers to the angular dispersion from the grating and the second differential refers to the overall dispersion from the multiple prism beam expander given in the section above. Topic. Further applications In 1987 the multiple prism angular dispersion theory was extended to provide explicit second-order equations directly applicable to the design of prismatic pulse compressors. The generalized multiple prism dispersion theory is applicable to Amikai prisms Laser microscopy Narrow line-width tunable laser design Prismatic beam expanders Prism compressors for femtosecond pulse lasers Topic. See also Beam expander Laser line width Multiple prism grating laser oscillator <laughs>